single puzzle piece on its own seems insignificant. It's weirdly shaped, has muddled colors, and doesn't resemble much at all. By itself it's useless, but each piece has a role in the puzzle. The corner pieces anchor the picture together. They're the easiest to find, yet by themselves you don't have a picture at all. The straight pieces connect to each other and meet in the corners to form the frame the rest of the picture. In the middle you just have a mixed bag of seemingly random parts that put together over time in just the right way create the big picture. And the box comes with or is the image of the goal. Without the box it's almost impossible to finish the entirety of the puzzle. And much like those pieces of that puzzle all come together to make a picture, our picture is a completed schoolie conversion. We want to live in that bus and we want to put all those pieces together to make that picture. And each one of them, though on their own seem insignificant, all affect each other and how the rest of the build's going to go and how living in our bus is going to be for however long we're in it. I personally look at the wood framing as the corner pieces of our puzzle. Because without the frame, we don't have edges, we don't know where things go, and we don't have an anchor for the rest of our bus build to be anchored to. So it being that important, I decided to go look for some information on the internet. We were super lucky that Chuck Cassidy just released a video as we were getting ready to get started on how to make a solid straight framed wall. So admittedly, I took a lot of his stuff straight off of his video. So I'm gonna link to his video down below. Check that out for detailed information on how to do this. But I did things a little bit different than him because I have some headroom constraints that he doesn't have. So let's get into it. We started this part of the build by ripping down three quarter inch plywood into two inch strips. By ripping down sheets of plywood, I have a consistent material that I can work with. You might be asking, well, two by fours or two inches by four inches. How are you gonna use two inch strips of plywood that are three quarter inch thick to be just as strong as two by fours? If you take two pieces of that plywood and put it together, you have an inch and a half thickness. And while not two inches, no two by four is actually two inches thick. Much like in our floor installation, I didn't frame out the floor because wood has an R value that's significantly less than the insulation we're gonna be using. So if you run your straps vertically in the bus, that entire board becomes a thermal bridge where you could run the straps horizontally and have just that two inches of touching everywhere that the wood crossed the metal in the bus. I use self-tapping wood to metal screws from Lowe's. They self-tap through the wood and into the metal and then the tabs break off and lock it down into the metal. So the wood is nice and firmly secured. And from there, when I added the second layer of wood, I just used construction screws only through the wood to wood section. Those construction screws are solid enough to attach the wood to the wood. It's gonna keep your walls nice and straight. So starting where the wall meets the subfloor, I affixed four inch blocks to the sheet metal along the wall and then attached the outer strap to the blocks. The blocks allow for spray foam to be sprayed into the gaps between the blocks in a later step. And then I moved up the walls, attaching the straps to the ribs and then a second strap on top of that to allow for thicker spray foam insulation and a solid mounting surface for our walls. The same concepts were applied to our roof except we only did one strap on the roof because of headroom constraints. As you get into this project for yourself, you're going to find that there's some tricky areas depending on your bus. And because the bus isn't square, you're going to have to really think about how to apply your strapping in those areas. I found particularly in the corners and around the back windows were difficult. But if you take your time and think about steps as you go through, you're going to be able to make good decisions. I ended up pausing and freeze framing a lot of other people's videos, so here's some footage of what my corners look like pre-spray foam, and it might give you some ideas on things that you want to do. Because I'm using a mini split in my bus, I wanted to frame out the section that that was going to attach to. So I took the template that comes with the Pioneer unit that we bought. I put it up on the back wall, measured, and then put strapping into place. So I can easily screw that Pioneer unit in when it comes time. Our schoolie puzzle is starting to take shape and I hope that we provide some inspiration to you on your builds. Once we get on the road, we're gonna have a lot of adventures to share with you and we're really excited to do that. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Some of our other videos are popping up here on the screen right now. If you like some of this content, be sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.